For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to change fraction to decimal, fraction to percent, and vice versa. And we are going to explain everything in details. On the first set of example, convert fraction to decimal. In converting fraction to decimal, all you have to do is to divide the numerator by the denominator. So let us have the first example. On letter A, we have 3 fourth. So let us have 3 divide by 4. 3 divide by 4, that is 0. 0 multiplied by 4, that is 0. 3 minus 0, that is 3. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 30 divided by 4, that is 7. And 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28, that is 2. Let us add another 0. Let us bring down 0. 20 divided by 4, that is 5. And 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 minus 20, that is 0. So that means 3 fourths in decimal, that is 0 0.75. And this will be our answer. On letter B, we have 5 over 8. So let us have 5 divided by 8, and that is 0. 0 times 8, that is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 50 divided by 8, and that is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. 50 minus 48, and that is 2. Let us add another 0. Let us have 0 here. 20 divided by 8, that is 2. 2 times 8, that is 16. 20 minus 16, that is 4. Let us add another 0. So 40 divided by 8, that is 5. 5 times 8, that is 40. And 40 minus 40, that is 0. So therefore, 5 over 8 in decimal, that is 0 0.625. On letter C, we have 4 over 5. So let us have 4 divided by 5, and that is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. Let us bring down 0. 40 divided by 5, and that is 8. 8 times 5, that is 40. And 40 minus 40, that is 0. So therefore, 4 over 5 in decimal, that is 0 0.8. Or you can write your answer as 0 0.80. They are just the same. On letter D, we have 2 thirds. So let us have 2 divided by 3. So we have 0. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0, that is 2. Let us add decimal point and 0. Let us bring down 0. 20 divided by 6, or 3, that is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And then let us have 20 minus 18, that is 2. We have 0. 20 divided by 3, that is 6. And 6 times 3 is 18. So as you can see, we have a repeating decimal. If we are going to continue this one, we are going to have 0 0.66667. And if you are going to write two-thirds in decimal, this is 0 0.67. And this will be our answer. On the second set of example, we are going to convert fraction to percent. In converting fraction to percent, the first thing that we are going to do is to convert fraction to decimal and move two decimal places from left to right. So let us have an example. On letter A, we have one-half. So let us have one divide by 2, that is 0. 0 multiplied by 2, that is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. 10 divided by 2, that is 5. And 5 times 2 is 10. And 10 minus 10 is 0. So 1 half in decimal, that is 0 0.5. And let us move two decimal places from left to right. So let us have 1 and then 2. So let us add 0. So this will be 50%, and this will be our answer. On letter B, we have 5 over 12. So let us have 5 divided by 12, and that is 0. 0 times 12 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. 
let us add decimal point, let us add 0, let us bring down 0, 50 divided by 12, that is 4, 4 times 12, that is 48. 50 minus 48, that is 2, let us add another 0, 20 divided by 12, that is 1, 1 times 12 is 12, and 20 minus 12, that is 8. And then, let us add another 0. Let us bring down 0. 80 divided by 12, that is 6. And 6 times 12, that is 72. 80 minus 72, that is 8. And let us add another 0. And that is 80 divided by 12, that is 6. And 6 times 12 is 72. So if we are going to continue this one, we are going to have 0 0.4166667. But if you are going to write this one in percent, let us simply move two decimal places and let us round our answer into two decimal places. That is 1, 2. So this will be 41.67%. And this will be our answer. On letter C, we have 8 over 11. So let us divide 8 by 11, that is 0. 0 times 11, that is 0. 8 minus 0 is 8. Let us add decimal point. Let us add 0. 80 divided by 11 is 7. 7 times 11 is 77. And then 80 minus 77, that is 3. Let us add another 0. Let us bring down 0. 30 divided by 11, that is 2. And 2 times 11, that is 22. 30 minus 22, that is 8. Let us add another 0. So 80 divided by 11 is 7. 7 times 11 is 77. So as you can see, we have the same pattern. So this is 3. Let us add another 0. 30 divided by 11, that is so if we are going to continue this one, we are going to have 0 0.727273. But if we are going to write our answer into percent, let us simply move two decimal places. 1, 2. So this will be 72.7. And then one. the next number after it is 7. So we are going to have 3. So our answer that is 72.73%. On the third set of example, we are going to convert decimal to fraction. In converting decimal to fraction, we have to familiarize ourselves with the power of 10 and we are going to use that as our denominator. So this will be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, etc. On the first example, we have 0 0.75. Since we have two decimal places, we are going to use 100 as our denominator because for every decimal place, it corresponds to the number of zeros. So this will be 75 over 100. Since 75 over 100, the greatest common factor is 25. So let us divide this one by 25. 75 divided by 25, that is 3. 100 divided by 25, that is 4. So 0 0.75 in fraction, that is 3 fourth. On letter B, we have 0 0.375. Since we have three decimal places, we are going to choose 1,000 as our denominator. For every decimal places, it corresponds to the number of 0. That is 1, 2, 3. And we have 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So this will be 375 over 1,000. And the greatest common factor between 375 and 1,000, that is 125. So let us simplify this one. 375 divided by 125, that is 3. 1,000 divided by 125, that is 8. So 0 0.375 in fraction, that is 3 over 8. On letter C, we have 0 
So as you can see, we have three decibel places. We are going to use 1,000. So this will be 286 over 1,000. And the greatest common factor, that is 2. Let us divide this one by 2. 286 divided by 2, that is 143. And 1,000 divided by 2, that is 500. And this will be our answer. On the fourth set of example, we are going to convert decimal to percent. In converting decimal to percent, we simply move two decimal places from left to right. So let us have the first example. On letter A, we have 0 0.75. So let us simply move two decimal places from left to right. So that is 1, 2. So this will be 75%. On letter B, we have 0 0.0065. Let us move two decimal places. 1, 2. So this will be 0 0.65%. On letter C, we have 1.25. So let us have 1, 2. So this will be 125%. On letter D, we have 2. Since this one is a whole number, the decimal point is here. Let us have 1, 2. Let us add 2, 0. And that is 200%. On letter E, we have 33.38. So let us have 1, 2. So this will be 3,338%. Three On letter F, we have 0 0.015. So let us have 1, 2. So this will be 1.5% or you can write as 1.50%. On the fifth set of example, convert percent to decimal. In converting percent to decimal, we simply move two decimal places from right to left. So let's have an example. On letter A, we have 45%. So let us simply move two decimal places from right to left. So this is 1, 2, 45%, that is 0 0.45. On letter B, we have 3%. So let us have 1, 2, let us add 0, the decimal point is here. So this will be 0 0.03. On letter C, we have 23.56%. So let us have 1, 2. So the answer is 0 0.2356. On letter D, we have 100%. So let us have 1, 2. So that is 1. Or you can write 1.0. They are just the same. On letter E, we have 250%. So let us move two decimal places from right to left. 1, 2, and this is 2.5 or 2.50. On letter F, we have 150.5%. Let us have 1, 2, so this is 1.505. And this will be our answer. On the last set of example, we are going to convert percent to fraction. In converting percent to fraction, the first step that we are going to do is to convert percent to decimal. And we are going to use the power of 10 to convert decimal to fraction. So let us identify again the power of 10. So let us have 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. 100,000, 1 million, etc. So let us convert 14% into decimal. So let us simply move two decimal places from right to left. Let us have 1, 2. So this is 0 0.14. Since we have two decimal places, we are going to use 100 because for every decimal place, it corresponds number of zeros in the power of 10. So let us have 14 over 100 
and the greatest common factor that is 2. So we are going to divide 14 by 2 that is 7 and 100 divided by 2 that is 50. So 14% in fraction that is 7 over 50. On letter B, we have 0.5%. So let us move two decimal places from right to left. Let us have 1, 2. This will be our decimal point and let us have 0. So let us have 0 0.005. Since we have three decimal places, let us use 1000 as our denominator and let us have 5. We are not going to write the two zeros. And the greatest common factor between 5 and 1000, that is 5. So 5 divided by 5, that is 1. 1000 divided by 5, that is 200. And this will be our answer. On letter C, we have 125%. So let us have 1, 2. So this is 1.25. 1.25 can be written as 1 plus 0 0.25. So let us have 1 plus, let us have 25 over 100 because we have two decimal places. So this is 1 plus 25 over 100, that is 1 fourth. And 1 plus 1 fourth, that is 1 and 1 fourth. And this will be our answer. On letter D, we have 50%. So let us have 1, 2, so this is 0 0.5, so let us have 5 over 10 because we have one decimal place, and 5 over 10, that is 1 half. And then, let us have 0.375%, let me rewrite this one. So let us have 1, 2, from right to left this will be our decimal point and let us add zero it will give us 0 0.00375 since we have five decimal places that's one two three four five we are going to use 100,000 because we have five zeros one two three four five let us have 100,000 on the denominator and let us have 375 we are not going to include the zero. So this will be 375 divided by 100,000. And the greatest common factor is 125. So let us divide the numerator and denominator by 125 because that is the greatest common factor. 375 divided by 125, that is 3. And 100,000 divided by 125, that is 800. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.